It was a crisp morning when I reached camp and changed out of my three day wearing nasty ass clothes and decided to roll out barefoot to be one with the earth. I set a waypoint in the nearby village of Blackwater when I saw a fellow traveller in the distance and I rather thought he was wearing my daddy's watch so I rushed him. Turns out he wasn't wearing my daddy's watch. When a wagon came around the corner, your man tried to escape but I draped him anyway. Your man shot at me and then gun butt me right in my eye, so I proceeded to fuck him up. I was making my way back to a horse when a rude old man gave me some shit. You look real, real strange. So I dealt with the matter with reasonable force. And when I turned around, the dude I just knocked out was struggling down the road like he'd just been somewhere, so I apologised for how I acted. Continuing my journey to Blackwater, I couldn't help myself but drapes this local from his cart and trample him. Finally reaching Blackwater, it wasn't long before I realised I was the only brother. Hey, look where you So I decided to cut off on a side street. When a mature lady showed interest. How do you do? Being black, I was about to move on. However, seeing as I was literally born into slavery and released last week, I thought fuck it. So I sat down next to her and she gave me some stink look. And I weren't having it. After being a bigger man and walking away, a local street sweeper got brave. Oh, I'll enjoy this. And shot me a box, so I joke at him. To be fair though, your man was raw and nimble. But it didn't help him. After the act, I decided to scale a nearby building in hopes of escaping authorities, where I watched a fed man scramble from above. Don't worry, this is my job. I was up here for a while when I heard footsteps behind me. So I dealt with the threat, put on his hat, and gave him back to his colleagues. There he is. And when I turned around, his brethren were there. So without hesitation, I went for an other guy and got intercepted. After a quick resurrection, I snatched another local and had big plans for him. But when I turned the corner, there was a fed on patrol. My first thought was to rush him. But after realising he had backup, I had to cut loose. Making it across the river and exhausted, I thought I was home free. When one, two shots took my life. And that was it. I decided to launch a small operation on the saloon. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Well, well, there's something to be said for cons Standing in the corner planning my move, the musician got rude to me. Would you mind just moving back a little? I was this close to doing his dance when he switched to my track. So I allowed him. On a hype hype ting from the beat, me and some of the locals played hot potato. One man tried to run out of the shop, so I dashed the dynamite at him. And some geezers just casually watching the commotion. So I threw a dynamite his way. And for some reason, the DJ stopped playing my track, so I threw a hot potato at his feet, done fucked up his piano. And he weren't happy. And after getting a bit carried away, I hid upstairs to avoid apprehension. And everything went dead quiet, like too quiet. So I thought I'd take a look, but someone saw me. So I hid in the guest room on a quick ting and crouched in front of the fire to warm up before attempting my escape. However, there was no way I was making it down the staircase. So I went for a straight up Jackie Chan maneuver over the banister and died. I spawned back in, ran down the hill, assassinated and burnt a local, displaced another's lower lumbar and stole a horse to get back to Winston. Making my way to another camp, I saw a guy having a fag break when he shouldn't, so I taught him a lesson. He tried to call his union, but I dealt with it in-house. I was leaving the scene when a Caucasian bystander threatened me. Better watch it. So I cooked him too. And after running out of locals to attack, I found another outlet. And after a dislocation of the shoulder, 
I decided to run back to Blackwater Village and start shit. When I raw thought I saw someone I had beef with, and after dashing the bitch to the ground, I realized I was mistaken. However, she was holding my hands down and trying to play victim. When a topless nigga done rush me with a shiv, and in the midst of trying to shank me, he killed the bitch she was defending. I did catch him with a one-two. He got me on a legs day, so I wasn't 100%. Shortly after, I decided to take a casual stroll past and survey the scene, when a man with a hat seemed to be approaching. I don't know why I didn't react here, guys. I thought if I kept walking, he wouldn't notice me. Turns out it was the same guy from before. This time, I went for a different approach. However, with my past history of heights and free running, I was a little bit unsure. When I saw my target, he seemed to be celebrating around a poor woman's body. So I went full Matrix. Only to find that poltergeist had just fucked up my target. So I checked his pulse when the dead bitch fucked my back up and shanked me. So I initiated Project Wagon. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. Literally, um, I decided to cut this video into two, guys. Some of you guys are probably going to be pissed off. You get me? But I decided to cut this video into two. Just, just to save me on editing mainly. Because, guys, these videos are taking me a little bit longer than I'd like at the minute. I'm trying to push myself in a different direction in terms of how I'm putting these videos together, mainly to make my YouTube videos as efficient as possible. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've actually been growing in subscribers recently. So thank you to everyone who's here right now. And um, basically these new subscribers would never have found the channel if it wasn't for me changing up the way I edit my videos and doing different videos. So I hope you guys can understand the change. I'm still going to be doing the old BTM videos. These are just an experiment of me basically trying to try all different avenues so I can see where the potential for growth is and just things like that. Just kind of having fun with making videos and being small on YouTube. And other than that, guys, that's literally all I've got to say today. Um, I just, uh, Again, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined. We're approaching that 200 subscriber goal, guys. When I get to that 200 subscribe, well, in fact, I need to think about this now and I'm kind of slacking. I'm probably going to be late. I need to probably get on the video this week. But I'm looking to do like a 200, subs a 200 subscriber special. I probably left it a bit late, guys. I didn't expect to get many subscribers as I've had so quick considering going off my past history of growth. That's all I can say. If you guys have any suggestions or any ideas um, for that, then let me know. But listen, I ain't no normal YouTuber. You get me? Don't be asking me to do no bullshit collaboration of all my old videos. I ain't looking to do nothing boring like that. You get me? This is BTM out here, fam. If you guys are going to suggest something, then suggest something big. 200 subscribers has been a, a huge goal for me since 2016 pretty much guys is when i started this channel and i've had it between 100 and 200 subscribers since then it's only the last month and a half where i've really been pushing my youtube well I've, i'm now approaching 200 subscribers so yeah don't be suggesting no boring stuff i don't want to do no uh q a none of that uh, give me a challenge you get me tell me to go do something mad anything you get me on th i want to do it big and it's only 200 subscribers to some people but to me that's a huge benchmark that 200 subscribers to me represents that i can do this if i want to and that should it should be the same for everyone unless you've sub for sub your way to 200 subscribers i've genuinely put fucking hundreds of hours into these videos and if i can hit 200 subscribers it just makes it feel like it's all worthwhile that's so at least 200 people are, have decided to subscribe to what i do that's a lot of people if you all just come and stood in the room bro i'd be like bumba clark rather be late on this 200 subscriber video to be honest guys because if i'm late on a 200 subscriber video that means yeah that i'm growing faster than i believed i could so please make me be late and if i'm late i'll still drop a 200 subscriber special you get me if for some reason i get like 100 subscribers before and i hit 300 before i even manage to do like the two i don't care i'm still gonna do it because it represents a lot to me so other than that guys um i know i'm waffling on now but thank you for everyone who's here subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video and we out <laughs>